Hello again everybody, it's Sunday morning, I just got back from my run, I'm feeling good but also a little bit tired, I actually managed to do the full 10 kilometers today which is pretty good for me, I'd only set out to do maybe like 6 or 7 but I was sort of feeling good as I got to that point so I kept on going and managed to get the full 10 which I did in just on 55 minutes, which is pretty good for me. I mean, it's not the fastest pace in the world, but it works out to be about five minutes, 30 seconds, which for me is, is a good steady pace. Um, yeah, so I had Taylor Swift again, keeping me company and um, just like a playlist that I have, which I'd love to share with you guys because I like sharing what I'm listening to and finding out what you guys are listening to, but I use Apple Music, so um, as opposed to Spotify Premium, which I think most people use. And I think it's a little bit harder to share Apple Music playlists if you don't also use Apple Music. So anyway, um, that was fun. Just listening to music usually kind of helps me keep on going, especially if it's songs that I'm enjoying and I can kind of sing along to in my head. I um, need to have a shower, but I thought before I do that, I could potentially, or I should potentially, take a little look at these ornaments and if I want to paint them, do that first. I figure that would get a little messy, so I might as well do the messy stuff before I shower. That makes sense. Overall, they turned out really well. They've cooled down, they've hardened, and um, I like the way they look. They actually have quite like a nice speckled finish on top. Underneath is a little bit more of a deeper color, so I don't know whether I should just, you know, paint the back white or leave some as is, paint them all white. I do have this chalk paint here from Little Birdie. I also have a black as well, so maybe I could paint a few black that could potentially go on the tree in my bedroom. I don't know, I figure, you know, can't hurt to try. If I stuff them up, I can always make more. I've popped down a little bit of packaging, so I really don't have any paper to protect my space. This came in the Bath and Body Works candles that I received yesterday. I did get this one new. I don't know if you spotted it. It's the perfect Christmas. And I also picked up one more in here. This one is balsam and firewood. I really like the smell of this one. It's kind of tree mixed with men's cologne. Quite nice. The perfect Christmas is quite a spicy, like cinnamon, clove kind of scent. I think that one is one that not everyone will like. If you don't like those kind of straight up spice scents, I don't think you'd like this one, but I actually don't mind it. So I'm going to burn those two. I'd ordered four on Black Friday, which at that point they were $23 each, which in Australia is cheap for a Bath and Body Works candle. However, uh, I think two of them, even though they were in stock when I purchased them, the online system with Bath and Body Works here in Australia is kind of shocking. It's quite new and they're really not great on the whole um, stock levels yet. So um, I think I'll get a refund for those other two, but I'm happy to have at least two new candles to burn between now and Christmas time. But anyway, I'm rambling. Let's have a go at painting some of these and see, see what happens. doing a coat of white at least on each side. I have purposely done it quite messy. I haven't gone around all the edges. I've sort of let some of the bits be a little bit sheer. I'll be able to see the brush strokes just because I like the more rustic, I guess, homemade look. The black one is obviously a lot more opaque. I've just done three of those, but I think they look quite cute too. So I'm going to let them dry while I have a shower um, and then I might just see if, they, if any bits need a little bit of a touch up.
I'm showered now I'm feeling a little bit fresher as I was getting ready I was kind of thinking how different it is now like for me getting ready very rarely involves putting makeup on these days um, back in the day and I think what made me think about it was I was watching some of Zoe Suggs vlogmas and often in those videos she talks about like getting up getting dressed getting ready putting makeup on and that's how she you know gets ready to start the day even if it's sort of later in the day and I very much used to be like that too whereas now unless I'm going into the office to go to work or I'm going to a specific event like you know a party or a dinner or something like that I very rarely put any makeup on anymore I kind of do my hair and that's usually because it's been up in a ponytail and been sweaty from working out but otherwise like my face I kind of put on moisturizer I put on some sunscreen and that's about it. I may put on, actually, where is it? Um, keep this in my bag. I have this Burt's Bees tinted lip balm. It's in the shade Red Dahlia, which I really like. It's like a really deep kind of, if I can take this off, a really deep red color, but on your lips, obviously, it's sort of super sheer. So it just gives them a little bit of color because sometimes I lose all color in my face, particularly if I've been working out and like um, anything that requires like a lot of cardio because you know breathing heavy some people go red I tend to go white and lose all my color but yeah that that's pretty much all I will do and it does mean that I am often on camera not looking the greatest and I find that the camera actually tends to make it worse like I find my here, I can even see in the camera now, my under eye kind of area looks really sunken in. It looks really, um, like there's some really deep shadows there, but in real life, you can't see them. I think it's to do with the contrast of the camera. And in the past, it would really bother me, and it still kind of does now, particularly if I'm editing a video, I go, oh, Rachel, you look shocking. Why didn't you, you know, fix your hair or, you know, at least put some concealer on or something like that. But in the long run, it just doesn't bother me as much as it used to when I was younger, which I think shows growth. Or maybe it just shows that I don't care anywhere near as much as I used to, but I think it's a good thing. I do obviously still wear makeup and you guys see my um, little makeup set up there. I still have a big collection of makeup, although most of it is still at my parents' house. And maybe one day I'll film a little video of what makeup I do wear at the moment when I do happen to wear makeup because there are some products that I like and I still like trying makeup but it's just not the necessity that it used to be if that makes sense and I think you know a few years back I would have had to have put makeup on to film a video or even for vlogmas I probably would have put makeup on before I started filming for the day and I just don't do that anymore <laughs> so you know we all grow up actually speaking of vlogmas I was thinking about vlogmas throwbacks I'm technically on annual leave this now. Um, I had my last day of work on Friday. It doesn't feel like it. I think because the end of the year was very anticlimactic. Usually we'd be in the office and we'd all be finishing up together and we would have had a big Christmas party and all this kind of stuff, which we just didn't this year. Um, we had a, like a Christmas lunch with our team, which is something we would usually do. But the big Christmas party that I go to that I filmed many years as part of Vlogmas, this is the first year it didn't happen, um, obviously because of COVID and COVID restrictions and having so many people in a, in a space just wasn't possible, um, which is really sad because this would have actually been my 10th Christmas party at the company I'm with, which is a very long time, particularly in this day and age. Not many people stay in jobs, I feel like, that long. Um, but yeah, I've been with my or in my current like with my current company for almost 10 years now which means that i've been making youtube videos for almost 10 years now because i'm pretty sure i kind of started making youtube videos around the same time that i started um my job so it's crazy but what i was going to say is um the ceremonial turning off of the alarm for the year um, so my alarm is usually a 4am alarm if I'm going into the office, but daily, particularly being working from home, it is 6am. So I feel like I've definitely filmed this before. We are going to do it. The ceremonial. No, don't delete. <laughs> this is failing. Just turn off. 
done. I feel slightly more like I'm on holidays now. I don't think it's gonna feel real until next week. Probably when most people are also on holidays because there's still like another week of work, but I had to take extra annual leave. I had a lot of annual leave built up, so I've just taken a bunch at Christmas time. I feel like I just spoke then for a very long time. The ornaments are basically dry now and I think I'm just gonna leave them as is. There's definitely some spots, you know, you can see where I haven't painted but or where the paint's kind of stuck to the paper and hasn't quite on but I think that adds to the rustic look so I'm going to make sure that this fully dry because there's still a few little patches I can see they're a little bit damp and then I'm going to just put some twine on it and I think hang them on the Christmas tree I might even put a couple on this Christmas tree out here or maybe I'll save some to maybe some of these thin ones and use them on the last of my wrapping or add them to my wrapping I am just in the parking lot of Christmas World. I was very much ready to sit down and do nothing for the day, but it's only lunchtime, so I thought I'd quickly duck out and have a quick look at maybe a couple of Christmas shops because I've been wanting to do that for the last couple of weekends. Um, not to really to buy anything, just to look. I feel like I always feel more in the festive spirit when I like look at all the lights and fancy Christmas decorations. So I'm going to go in and have a little wander around, maybe duck to one of the other Christmas shops nearby and have a wander in there as well and then I can go home and chill for the day. Well, they have real little Christmas trees <laughs> kind of on the pricey side but they are very cute. So much festive cheer right now. <laughs> As one of the more unique color schemes I really like this. It kind of has some fairy wonderland garden kind of vibe to it but it still has a lot of realistic looking foliage. Oh, these are cute. I really like that, very pretty. There's all these like, Santas put in. I've been watching um, Gina Loves Christmas and she does a lot, if you check her out on Instagram, she decorates Christmas trees, but she does a lot of these big like items in her Christmas tree. I've never tried it before, but I'm tempted. Maybe one day. Oh wow, these are pretty. I'm guessing you'd need a very big tree to put these ones on. They're nice. Hmm. They're selling cut real trees here. I was wondering why I could smell pine. It's because they have trees. Although most of them are gone. It smells so good, but... Ooh. This is a pretty tree skirt. I need some bigger baubles like this for my tree at my parents' house. They're really nice, so are they. You can see these looking amazing on a mermaid tree or a, like a little girl's ballerina tree or something like that. So sparkly. Oh, these are probably more my type colors, these jewel tones. They are very nice. Oh, I like this green as well. Of course I find the Rachel colour bauble. This is like my favourite lipstick colour. <laughs> Maybe one year where I'm feeling extra, extra, I'll put some of these on my big like sliding door windows. Although I'd want warm white, not cool white. But that would look really awesome from the outside and potentially from the inside as well through the sheer blinds. I found the solar lights, which is what I would need for my balcony, but they don't seem to have any like icicle type ones. They do have some net lights, but I'd say they've been kind of sold out. <laughs> it is a bit late in the season. Oh, these are cute. Little frosted reindeer. was fun but I'm gonna head on to the next place. May have made a slight tactical error in coming on a Sunday the second weekend or second last weekend before Christmas because traffic was crazy but we made it here. Lots of lights in 
here. <laughs> this place has an intense amount of Christmas <laughs> all at once. It's very kind of overwhelming, but super pretty. <laughs> This tree's cool, it literally comes with the pine cones and a few red berries on it already. So it's like half decorated before you even start. It obviously needs to be fluffed and it's pre-lit as well. You don't like to do a lot of decorating. <laughs> That's probably the tree for you. That is cool. Imagine having that in your front yard. These white trees are pretty as well. Or having a house big enough to have a tree that size. <laughs> wow. Oh, I just spotted all of the garland. So much. Just a wall of Santas. And so many picks. But these are definitely on the pricey side. I found the light section and also just a random jar of Biscoff bread. <laughs> I don't know who would have left it there. <laughs> there is a lot of lights, but there aren't a lot of solar options left, unfortunately. They do have warm white solar lights in a netting, but no kind of string like icicles, unfortunately ended up caving and buying some lights. These ones aren't solar, but I'm gonna try and make them work. But I just spotted this on my way out. How cute is that? I love the truck. Very cool. Since I'm already out, I figured I'd make one last stop to Rudolph's Christmas. Why not? You know, tis the season and all that. Here we are. Look at that Santa. That is next level. <laughs> Oh wow, these are beautiful, all the Disney stuff. It is so pretty in here, so pretty. So much stuff. All right, that's um, 99.95 for four glasses, but you know, if I had the cash, I would totally. <laughs> Oh, these birch trees are quite cute. And these like mercury glass look ornaments. Oh, Rachel color tree. I love this one. I even love the Santa. This is just so much Christmas. I love it so much. It's like being a kid in a candy store. <laughs> oh, they're pretty. I don't think I could ever afford to do a different theme every year and it's probably a little bit wasteful but I love seeing all the different Christmas tree themes you can do like an elf tree <laughs> cute these are beautiful colors too purples and golds lilac pink oh wow <laughs> there's an alcohol tree I love it <laughs> This is awesome. Well, these are funky. I would love to have a tree that just has all kind of random ornaments like this. One day. Oh, here we are. There we go. That's really cool. 21.95 for one ornament is a little bit out of my price range, but <laughs> Oh tequila bottle Well, this one's fun with the sticks and I love this Ribbon one year. I will try ribbon one year <laughs> I Found a tunnel of light this is what I meant by like the icicle ones, you know, the ones the hanging. Just trying to find those in solar as well as warm white. Near impossible, I found. Oh, I just spotted this on the floor. 
I love you. <laughs> Platypus on a sled. Love it. I'm just going to go next level and just stick one of these on my balcony. Why not? It's festive. Well, I like these. Quite a vintage feel to them. Very nice. Time to go home otherwise I want everything. If you need some festive cheap I definitely recommend popping into like one of these Christmas specific stores. They're really great just to look. I just had something to eat because I was definitely feeling a big energy slump. I feel a little bit better now so I am going to put some string on some of these so I can hang them and just clear this out and then I think I'm going to do nothing for the rest of the afternoon. As I was driving home I did go past quite a big accident. It looked like there was about five cars involved. Um, I don't think anybody was too seriously hurt but it's a really good reminder this time of year there is so much extra traffic on the road and just be really careful. You don't want to like being late to something or you know just taking that little bit of extra time being a bit extra cautious is much better than not arriving at all so keep that in mind um it took a little while to get home because i had to go past the accident so i hope everybody is okay all right let's see what we can do with this i do have this string which is from kmart just from the craft section i actually use this a lot on birthday presents and other things that I wrap and then I have this this is part of my Christmas wrapping which I thought could look quite pretty with some of the white ornaments as well just popped all my little decorations on I feel like they blend into the tree really well and I think we can call this little DIY craft project a success definitely something to try if you've got little kitties at home or if you just want to do something festive you're looking for a festive activity and you want something simple and that doesn't cost a lot of money and that you can do at home with just by yourself or with whoever you would like to i think these decorations are an awesome idea i'm really happy with how they're looking on the tree something that i've wanted to try for so many years and i've finally done it and it worked out yes 
So I did do nothing for most of the afternoon, but it turns out I'm not great at completely doing nothing. And I decided to join the party and put up some Christmas lights. I love it so much. It feels so festive and now I'm just noticing how dirty my glass is. Oops. I realized that I vlogged on the weekend and then put completely forgot that I did that and forgot about that footage and it's now Thursday and I haven't thought to edit that video or even finish it off properly. But um, it's Thursday. I've just gotten back from the shops. I've been doing some swimmer shopping, which isn't my favorite. I find swimmer shopping very, very difficult. I'm sure a lot of you out there can probably relate to that. I actually had to return a top that I'd purchased yesterday because I kind of bought it at home. I tried it on in store, but then I tried it on again at home. And I was like, yeah, it's just not going to fit me. I find that the band was a little bit too big, but then the cups were too small. So I've actually ordered the bigger size up, the medium online from the General Pants website. And um, I'm just going to have to kind of adjust the back to make it work, which is annoying. I did in the post get this swimsuit from Pink Colada. I ordered it, I don't know, a little while ago. It sort of took a few days to get here. And I really like it. It's the colors Midnight Teal, which is really pretty. These bottoms, I got the medium and they fit really well. So I'd probably say that they run a little bit small. This is quite fitted around my waist. It is very high waisted, which is awesome. But my waist tends to be a small usually, and um, this is a medium. So I'd say these bottoms run on the smaller side, but they are really nice. The top, however, I also got in a medium and it is massive. The, like, the back is just far too big. And even though you can like tie, adjust it, no matter how tight I tie it, it just is not going to work. So I'm going to have to try and return that and swap it for something else. I don't think they have this style in stock at the moment, so I might have to try and pick a different style in this color. But yes, if you are looking at these swimmers in particular, I'd say these kind of run on the slightly smaller size. So if you're in between sizes, I'd go up. And then this top is really big. Honestly, I might even have to go down to the extra small in this style. And then I don't know whether this would fit. So we'll have to see about that. The ones that I got from General Pants is from the brand Subtitles. Um, like I said, I don't have the top anymore. It was like a white top with um, a little bit of underwire. Really nice. Just, again, did not fit me the way I would like. So, um... The swimming or swimmers, bikini, whatever you want to call it, shopping saga will continue. Um, but the reason that I thought of you guys was um, I got a boost and I got a Jingleberry Crush boost, which is a definite Vlogmas throwback. If you've been watching my videos for a long time, you will remember this was my favorite boost. They only bring it out at Christmas time. And I'm pretty sure they stopped making it years ago. I haven't had a boost in like three or four years now. Um, and then Nat, who has watched my videos for many years and has always been a fantastic supporter of me and my channel, sent me a message to let me know that they brought the Jingleberry Crush back out again. And I'm so grateful because I went and grabbed one and it is amazing. It's just like I remember. Mm. It's so good. It's sweet, but it's got guava in it. So it's also a little bit tangy. Even the packaging is really cute. So this little ging gingerbread man with his butt crack hanging out and it says Santa's twerk shop. I don't know, I thought it was really adorable. I think the prices have gone up. This was $7.50, which I was like, was Boost always that expensive? I don't know, but so good. Thanks, Nat. Very appreciate the heads up. If you love a Jingleberry Crush as well, go to Boost or if you've never tried one, I, I highly recommend. It's fruity, it's just, it's the best for the kind of weather we're having at the moment, which is very, very hot. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I just wanted to come on and end the video here. I actually have a new addition on my Christmas tree. I've just spotted it here. It's this adorable little Merry Christmas ornament. My friend Melissa has a ceramic studio called Dearham Studio where she makes Christmas ornaments. I think she's done for the year now, but for next year, if any of you guys um, are looking for ornaments. I actually picked up a couple for my friends because they say like first Christmas 2020. So for a couple of my friends who had babies this year. So I got those as gifts and she threw this one in as a bonus, which I really appreciate. I'd ordered for me this star, which is also glazed. It has this kind of speckled finish to it. You probably, the camera is not going to pick it up, but really pretty great quality there. And I think they look 
really nice on my tree. I know I keep on adding to this tree, but I love it. I can't wait until next year. I love the idea of having two trees now and being able to decorate two. I've already got ideas of what I want to add and like do on them for next year. And we still haven't even got to this Christmas yet. I'm like, get through one Christmas, Rachel, before you start thinking about the next one. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. I hope you have enjoyed it. I'm sorry it was kind of just me talking to camera a lot. I wish if I spent more time with people that were more inclined to be on camera, I feel like my vlogs would be a little bit more fun. It would be a bit easier to do, but I just don't. And I feel like I can get a bit boring, just me all the time. But anyway, I hope it was a little bit festive for you and you enjoyed it. And I hope you're doing well wherever you are. I'll see you next time. Bye.